Welcome to series of tutorials in step-by-step -step setup of Oracle 19C2 node rack. This is the third tutorial in the series. In the first, we saw overview and preparation. In the second, we installed the grid software on the first node. In this, we'll be installing the database software and creating the database on the first node. This is the third tutorial and as always, I would like to repeat. I am on Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.8. I am using Oracle Database 19C and I am using Oracle VirtualBox 6.0.2 and it's all Oracle. So uh, let's start and as I can show you, my grid is right now set up on only one node. If I do this, if I run this particular command, you will see that nothing is there on node 2. Everything is, there is only one node called DB1. And if I if I run this, everything is up and running on node one. And if I show you ASMCA, I got two disks called OCR for voting disk and OCR, and then I have got the another disk for data. That's done. So what I'll do is now I have already in the first tutorial I have already unzipped the database software into a location. So I'll use the run installer. So if I show you the disk groups right now. I got two disk group data and OCR. So that's good. So now what I'll do is let me go to the location as an Oracle user. So if I open the terminal, go to the location where I have uninstalled the database software, the 19 that's where. And if you see here, you'll find this run installer that you need to run to set up your database home. So I'm going to run this and it's going to present us with series of options that I'll show you. And I'll pause the video when so since it is only on one node, so it will only it will not prompt me for other nodes. So create and configure single instance database setup a software only. We need to choose the setup of software only because if you see for rack installed do set up software only and then execute DBCA. So we, what we'll be choosing here is we'll be choosing this option set up software only to install the home. And then after we install the software, we'll be using the DBCA to create our database. So click on next. The database, it automatically chooses the rack. So we'll go with this option, which is already been chosen by Oracle for us. Then it will ask us the nodes, so DB1, we are good with this node. Enterprise or standard, SC2, standard edition 2. So we'll go with enterprise. And where do you want to have your Oracle base for the database? So that I have already created another directory for that. So if I go to that location here and you can see there is a directory for the 19C base. So I give that directory. This is a different directory than the all other directories so this is not this is not the same directory as oracle grid this is not the same grid as oracle grid base this is not the same directory as the binaries for oracle this is the different directories this, this is the fourth directory so click on all this and i'm keeping it's going to give me the warning and i'm going to ignore it it's going to say that i have chosen same group for all of this i'm going to ignore that warning okay it's not given me that warning so that's fine and it's going to do this checks whether we are okay to install our database. So while it's doing these checks, let me pause and come back when it's done this checks. So that's done. It has done and my NTP is failed and I got all these things failed. I can, I can go and spend some time on fixing these errors, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ignore this thinking in your production environment. Do not ignore the NTP errors. Make sure you fix them with the help of your Unix team, uh, make sure you fix all the NTP errors and uh, do not allow any NTP errors. But this is my private lab and both the nodes are really synchronized. So I'm not going to bother them. Uh, and I'm going to ignore this web size warning as well. So I'm going to ignore all of this and click on next. And it says you have chosen to ignore some of the prerequisites. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm sure what I, I know what I'm doing. So click on install and it's going to install the software. And then at the end, it's going to ask me to execute one script as a root script. Again, as I said, this particular script, this particular 
thing that we did we only ran this is the third video we only ran the run installer to install the database and presented with all the options for us and it's not going to create the database the database will be created in the next in the same video as part of the another command called dbca which will run once the oracle home is installed so let me pause the video and come back once once this install is done or come back when we need to execute the scripts as root so let me pause the video so we have reached to a stage where it has done all of this and is asking us to run this root dot sh script as user root so let me log in as root and i have logged in as root and let me run this particular script that's done and click ok once i'm done with and the registration of oracle database was successful so we have installed the oracle database software on the node one so as of now what we have done is we have just installed the oracle database software we have not created any database because in case of rack we need to install the home first and then we have to run our dbca so what what i'll do is like i'll go to that location where where my dbca would be there and that would be our oracle software location so let me go clear the screen cd cd2 db2i oracle the location where i install the database software so this is where i have installed under this you'll find a bin directory and if you do here the dbca you'll find a utility called dbca you need to launch that particular utility so you'll launch the dbca utility for creating your first database in your rack cluster and as again this particular database will be created only on node 1 because as of now we have our so we we have our cluster and the oracle home oracle database home installed only on node 1 so create database will go with um, advanced configuration so it's taking a bit of time so we'll go with advanced configuration click on next and then general purpose admin yeah the, I'm, I'm okay with that so click on next on which node db1 because that's the node we we have only installed so what's our database name let's say oracle we'll say oracle that would be our database name sid prefix that's fine create a container database no storage option asm so we'll be using the asm disk not the template so we'll be using the asm disk so i'll use the asm and then it is choosing the data disk and use oracle it's your choice whether you want to use omf or not i'll go with not using omf it is going to give us the warning if it is but however omf is not selected i'm going to i'm going to say okay to that so that's fine the fast fra i'm going to i'm going to configure fra later so the ne next op option fra i'm going to say no archiving i'm going to enable the archiving manually so i'm going to ignore this both the options i'm not going to choose these options so next the and here the configuration options the sga size and pga size i don't have i don't have a lot of ram so i'll give 1 gb for my sga and half gb for my pga that's what i'm doing so i'm going to give and run cluster okay configure em database express that's fine i don't if you want to let that's okay then give the password again i'm um, to make my life easier i'm going to give the same password for all of these three and i'm going to use the password as password and it's going to give me the warning which i'm going to ignore and the creation options create database all initialization if i want to change the storage locations if i want to change any initialization parameter i can change so and then finally i'm going to hit the create database it's going to do the prerequisite checks once again it's going to check the free space all of that and once it does all the prerequisite checks so this is where you know the prerequisite checks is it does it at multiple places it does it before installing grid it does it after installing grid it does it when we are installing the database software it does it when we are creating the database so 
the oracle does its checks nicely and if those checks are successful then probably your whatever thing that you are going to do whether you are creating a database or whether you are installing the software if those checks are successful then probably that installation or that particular create database if you are doing so is going to work so make sure that you don't ignore the checks uh, most more important checks and you are you can ignore those checks which are not significant in my case i have ignored the ntp errors and i'm still fine with that so uh, it's doing these checks and then once it is done with this checks it's going to show me the summary page and then i'm going to just say once i confirm everything okay it's i'm going to swap size i'm going to ignore this next it's going to show me the summary all of this i'm going to say finish and starts creating the database which is going to take a little bit of time and once this database is created i'll come back and show you how our database looks and how our cluster looks till then cannot create okay so okay cannot create directory okay so i think okay let me pause this and let me come back let me fix this error and come back so my database creation has started i had some stupid error what i did wrong is in my i in my oracle home and oracle base was not set properly i did not set them properly while creating the database so it try to create some files into a location and that directory was not present on this particular server because this particular location referred to the long directory and that's why i got an error which i have fixed now and re-ran re the dbca which is looks like it is in progress and this particular option this particular operation is going to take a long time so i'll pause the video and come back when it is done So finally our database got created the cluster database got created and now let's explore the database a little bit and again as I mentioned this particular database is on one single node because we have our grid running on one single node so using the DBCA we ran with using the DBCA we created this particular database so let's do this particular command and find out our database called oracle so that's online and this is our oracle home so oracle home is this particular location so now what i'll do is let me do rinv okay so before that ps minus ef grep pmon so looks like asm is up and our new instance or new database with the oracle one as instance sid so let's do that and oh right so looks like there is no entry for this so let's see our cat etc aura type file okay so etc aura type file is not modified by the grid install it is not modified by the dbca when we created this particular database in 12c or prior version automatically the entry was added into etc aura type oracle seems to be no longer doing this particular thing and it's no longer adding the entry in etc aura type anymore so let's add this entry manually so oracle one then db2i oracle and this time around v19 database and start automatically yes so we'll save this and now if i do or i env and do this looks like we are good and let me try to connect to our database sorry not as ccsm we need to connect as sysdba that's done and let's see the name and open mode from v dollar database and let's see the name from gv dollar database 
and as you can see we have only one inter entry which means this particular database is only on one instance or one node right now and that's basically that was our intention so this was the third video where we created the database on first node using the run installer and then using the dbca we created the database so this concludes our third video in the fourth video we'll be adding the node to the cluster so we'll be adding the node to this one node cluster and we'll making we'll make it rack to node cluster and then finally in the fifth video once we have added the cluster we will be creating the database on the second node actually so what i what i'll do actually instead of dividing this into two parts i will combine this into one video so the next video would be adding the node into the cluster and then creating the database on second node so we will do that in the same video till that time see you and wait for the next video bye bye thank you